Depth perception is defined as the ability to perceive spatial relations in three dimensions. We experience this in everyday activities, such as driving a car, reaching for a book, and even writing. We do this by allowing our sensory tools, especially vision, to process our environment and the things around us. This perception of our environment is then processed by the section of our brain called the parietal lobe. This parietal lobe is located just behind the frontal lobe, near the upper part of the forebrain. The main functions of the parietal lobe include the processing of somatosensory events. This includes touch, temperature, and body position. The parietal lobe also accounts for our overall spatial awareness. We might ask ourselves, is depth perception innate or does it develop over time? One main study conducted in 1960 by Dr. Eleanor Gibson and Dr. Richard Walk established a start to answering this question. Her experiment was known as the Visual Cliff Experiment. Here is a video of a modern day Visual Cliff Experiment to demonstrate the setup. In this study, babies between 9 and 12 months are brought into the lab and placed on a large plexiglass top table. Half of the table has a checkerboard pattern just underneath the surface. But halfway across is a visual cliff, which the baby can tell drops off steeply. The plexiglass top continues, so it's perfectly fine to proceed. But the baby isn't so sure. And this is a big drop for a baby just starting to crawl. She wants to get across to get the toy. But she's cautious and looks to the opposite end of the table where her mother is. In the original experiment, 36 infants, 6 to 14 months, were placed in the center of the table. They were observed as their mother stood at both the shallow end and the deep end at two minute increments. The mothers tried to coax the baby into crawling towards them. All 36 babies crawled towards their mothers at the shallow end without hesitation. However, nearly all the infants refused to go to their mothers at the deep end, which required them to cross the illusionary vertical drop. The experiment shows that depth perception is partly innate, meaning we are born with it, but the majority of its development happens with experience. The baby's depth perception started developing as they learned to crawl.